Hi everyone, this is Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. I'm going to demonstrate how to make this really pretty Christmas stocking. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to draw your own basic pattern and then I'll show you ways of taking that basic pattern and creating your own designs. So let's get started. I'm going to give you some recommendations on how to create your Christmas stocking pattern. Perhaps you already have a Christmas stocking and you like the size of it. You could lay that down on top of paper, trace around it, but go out at least a quarter of an inch to a half an inch uh, around it so you allow for seam allowance. If you don't have any Christmas stockings that you can trace, you can always go to the dollar stores, the 99 cent stores. Get a really inexpensive Christmas stocking that you can use as your pattern. Lay it down on paper and as I said, make sure you go out at least a quarter of an inch to half an inch and trace all around it. Now there's nothing wrong with freehand drawing your own stocking if you're really good at it and you don't mind drawing it. For those of you who are maybe not super artistic, which I am not, I cannot draw, just remember the top is wide, the ankle is narrow, and then the heel comes out a little bit, there's a little bit of an arch here, go around and dip back in again at the ankle. So that gives you an idea of how to trace it. Make sure once you've got your uh, pattern drawn on paper, write on it Christmas stocking, master copy, and whatever seam allowance you want to use. I'm going to use a quarter inch seam allowance. So now you have your master copy, you're going to keep that filed away. But first, before you file it away, you're going to trace it again. So draw a second one and cut it out. Now this second copy that you made is the one that we're going to draw our design on for this stocking. Because remember, you can use the master pattern to create a, vi a variety of designs. So here's your design that I recommend you do. Go five inches down from the top and draw a line. That indicates the size of the cuff that's going to be at the top. So five inches down. By whatever width is here, including that seam allowance. So mine is eight inches wide. So mark that. And you're going to cut four pieces of fabric for the cuff. So mark on there, four. Now go down to the bottom of the stocking. You're going to come in and draw a curved line that indicates the heel area. Come down here to the toe and draw another curved line for the toe area. Lay down two pieces of cotton batting and then two pieces of fabric that you want for your lining. So layer all that together. Place your stocking pattern on top. Place pins all around the edges and then go ahead and either use a rotary cutter or scissors to cut out your fabric pieces. After you've cut out your lining and cotton batting, then take your pattern and cut right on the lines for the toe and the heel. Take those heel and toe pieces and you're going to trace them around them again. So draw around both pieces. Then you're going to add a quarter of an inch up here. Then mark on them heel front, toe front. To cut out the fabric for the outside of the stocking, have your fabric folded back sides together. Then lay your pattern piece out Place pins around the edges and then either, either use a rotary cutter or scissors to cut it out. 
and you would do the same thing for the heel and toe and then for your cuff I layered my fabrics and I cut four cuffs out at the same time. Lay all your pieces over the cotton batting and line everything up. The toe and the heel pieces lift up this dark fabric that I have here. You lift it up and slip the edge of the heel and toe underneath this about a quarter of an inch. Then do a straight stitch, no more than an eighth of an inch, on top of this dark fabric all the way around. So do it here and here. Then place straight pins all over the top to hold the fabric together with the cotton batting. Then I recommend you do quilting stitches. It's also very decorative and it also helps to hold the cotton batting together with this fabric. I recommend you do a diagonal stitch. For instance, I started here and stitched across towards this edge. And I went over about every maybe inch and a quarter, inch and a half, and went all the way across, all the way down the stocking. Then I turned it and then I started here and went straight across. So you have this decorative stitching where you see the stitch lines crisscrossing each other. Do that on both your front and back sections. I've selected a medium satin stitch to go over where these two pieces of fabric come together. So you want to keep the center of the presser foot right on the middle there where the two pieces of fabric meet. If you do not have a satin stitch or don't want to use a satin stitch, you can place rickrack over the seam and then stitch right down the middle of the rickrack. Bring the front and back sections together and place pins around the edges and then starting at the top on one side, stitch a quarter of an inch seam all the way around and then stop up at the other side. Also, stitch your lining front sides together. On all the curved areas, which is going to be from the ankle all the way around the toe and the heel, do little clips so that when you turn it, front side out, this is going to lay very smooth. You want to also do the same thing on the lining pieces. Do little clips in the curved areas. Turn the stocking front side out. Take your lining and leave the back side out of the lining. Then insert the lining inside of the stocking. Pin the pieces together up at the top edge and make sure you match your seams and pin the seams open. Then I recommend you do a machine basting stitch around the top to temporarily hold this together while you put the cuff on. Take the fabric pieces for the cuffs and you should have four pieces cut out. Bring front sides together, pairing them up two together, and stitch a quarter of an inch seam on each side. And then press these seams open. And remember, you should make two of these. Take one section of your cuff and place the pom-pom fringe on the front side and align it up at the top edge there. Then do a machine basting stitch right along about in the middle of the band right there. Place the other cuff over. And now you've got front sides together of both cuff sections and the pom-poms is in between the two layers. Pin all of your edges down. Then at your sewing machine, you're going to stitch all of this together. Now I can feel 
and it's real easy to see where the band that holds all the little pom-poms on there I can feel where that edge is so I'm gonna stitch just past the band I'm not stitching on the pan but just real close to it it helps if you have your zipper foot on because you're going to be able to stitch a little bit closer in the area you'd like to stitch if you have an option to move your needle left or right I've moved mine to the right to make it even easier so go ahead and align it up and you're going to stitch all the way around. After stitching, then turn it front side out, and this is what it should look like. To make the loop so that you can hang the stocking, you'll need a piece of fabric that is about 5 inches by 2 inches. You can make it longer if you like. Then you're going to fold the fabric in half and press it with your iron. Then fold both sides towards that center fold line and press. Then fold again and press. Then you're going to stitch right along this edge here. Take the loop fabric and fold it in half. Then you're going to insert it on the heel side of the stocking and place it to where the folded edge is going down inside and then place a pin to hold it in place. Place the cuff inside and line up your edges and make sure you match the seam areas. Place pins at the top edge and then stitch a quarter inch seam all the way around. Fold the cuff side over to the front and then you are done. For more Christmas holiday projects, go to the end of this video where you will see a green screen and click on the links. Now if you liked this video, click on thumbs up. Also, click on share to share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Enter your email address and click on the little bell so that you receive future email notifications about my latest video. I'm Cheryl. This is Manny. See you next time and happy sewing.